think, Coach, um, does, does Kyrie's ability to finish at the rim remind you of anyone that you played with or against while you were a player? And is that finishing ability something that you have to game plan for, or is that just a little too niche? Uh, probably Rod Strickland. Um, you know, Rod in the 90s was the best guard finisher around the rim, and he had he had all kinds of touch and feel around the basket. Uh, he was really a remarkable finisher, but that's a, that's probably the closest comparison that I could come to. Um, as far as game planning, um, there's not a whole lot you can do to game plan for that. You know, you're, you're trying to do the same thing defensively um, against everybody. You're trying to, to force difficult shots. Um, the reason a lot of these guys make $30 million a year or more is because they can make really difficult shots. There aren't that many of them, but Kyrie's one of them. Hey, Kavon. Um, I've kind of been talking to a bunch of centers across the league about what it's like to try to get a block on Kyrie at the rim, given how creative he can be and how unpredictable he can be with some of his layups. I'm just wondering if you could offer anything about your experience playing against him and trying to contest some of his layups at the rim. Uh, with a guy like Kyrie, you really don't try to block it because he's too crafty. He's going to draw the foul. You just got to go straight, stay vertical, and make it tough on him. You know, uh, when guys like that are that good, uh, it's hard to get a clean block or or, uh, or really it's contest the shot without fouling when a guy's crafty like that. But you just want to stay vertical and uh, keep high hands and, uh, and hope for the best, you know. You know, uh, hopefully that's your guards, and you usually put guys like length like on, on guys like Kyrie, so they can two guys who can contest and make it hard as possible. But you know, when guys are that great, uh, like him, finishing at the rim is always is always tough, and you know he always so crafty with the ball off the dribble. He always keep you off balance, so it's really tough to get a clean block. But you try to stay vertical and don't foul, and, and hope for the best. Hey Ken, how's it going? What's um, up? I've been I've been talking to a bunch of the league better wing defenders and, and centers, but in your case, you're, you're a wing defender. Um, just about the difficulties of trying to guard Kyrie. Uh, can can you kind of add some context into what it's like and what makes him so difficult to contain? Um, ask me this question after the game tomorrow because I'm not going to give away my secrets. I mean. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll the follow yeah, I mean, it's it's a science to it all, man. And, you know, if you, you love defense the way I do, you watch these guys play, uh, you pick up on little things, you see what other guys do that, that are successful. Uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a game within a game when you guard guys that dynamic. Um, you know, it's like, you know, cat and mouse, so to speak, you know. Um, you know, try to set them up here with, with how you guard them just to, you know, throw a wrench in later on. You know, it's, it's fine that way. And, um, you know, you've had battles with guys that, that that are really, really talented offensively, and you can kind of feel like that you're on each other, like I know what he's trying to do, and, you know, vice versa. So uh, it's fun that way, but, you know, he's, he's you know, a magician uh, when it comes to finishing around the basket and creating his own shot. Um, you know, mid-range game is, is, is elite. You know, being at the rim is elite. And, uh, he, he craves the, the big shots, those big moments, so uh, very dangerous, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, putting the ball in the room. But what did you think when James Harden reunited with KD in Brooklyn? Uh, I thought it was uh, it was interesting, though. Know, uh, you know, there's always a lot of movement in the NBA, and uh, see him go out east and team up with KD and uh, Kyrie. Uh, I think it was good for the NBA. Uh, you know, they're a talented group. Uh, a lot of star power, and uh, they're exciting to watch. And, you know, I think that must-see TV every time you uh, click on the game. His lead pass, ESPN, TNT, they're always exciting to watch. So uh, it's going to be interesting uh, to play against them uh, tomorrow or see. I ain't going to be able to play, but see it up close. Uh, but, I you know, it makes them a that much dangerous team. To have three guys like that that can score the ball and, and distribute the ball like that is, is uh, incredible. And uh, I'm excited to see it tomorrow. 